So we're gonna go in with the French white chocolate. You're gonna use this as your base. I'm going to do your second coat of French white. We're going to clean your edge a little bit. We're going to clean it with the clean it. gonna have you dry this in there okay we're gonna go in with blush kiss I'm just going over um, like second base colors. And here I'm gonna go back in just to make sure your cuticle area is saturated with color. Gonna have it put this in here. Go ahead and put them in there. Okay, now when I'm gonna use my brushes like um, flat ovals, I like to get a little bit of my top coat. And just dab a little bit on the corner here. And I just like to do this to make sure that my brush has all the little hairs um, straight. I just like to clean it. And then I'll just grab a little napkin and make sure it's ready for me to use. And then obviously wipe down where you have. Okay, now for her middle design, we're going to go in here with a couple different colors, which is going to be living it up, which we used already here. Angel wings. Blush kiss. and raindrop kisses. So I'm gonna add a little dab on my plate here of each color.
Now I'm going to go in with the one I just cleaned, which is Tammy Taylor Flat Ovals. And this is, you can grab whatever color first. So I'm going to go with living it up first and then just grabbing very little on my brush. You're going to start putting the color, just placing the colors anywhere you want, basically. This is the where you become or you can get as creative as you want. Gonna add a little bit more. And I'm just cleaning my brush here off to the side just to kind of get that excess color off. And I'm gonna jump in with another color, which here I'm gonna do this color here. And I'm not trying to place over the other color, I'm just trying to kind of get little spaces here. And you can always add a little bit of your flawless finish coat, top coat here, just to kind of start getting rid of the excess colors on your brush. Okay, now we're gonna jump in with our purple one. After I added a couple colors on that nail, I'm gonna go ahead and have her cure it. I'm gonna add one more color, which is Royal Palace. Grab a little dot of it too. And I like to keep my top coat here just to kind of clean in between colors really fast. I'm gonna go in with the pink. Add a little bit more purple here. So here there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just you get creative with the design. I'm gonna cure that. Here I'm gonna continue adding color until I am satisfied with it. A little bit more pink. Okay. 
Okay, now we're all done with this one. So I'm going to do a really fast design here. So I'm going to add the top coat. When a top coat. Okay, I'm going to put it in the light. Okay, on this one, I'm going to go in with Starlight. I'm going to use the liner. And I'm going to use the glitter. So I'm going to start with Starlight. I'm going to add a little dot over here. With my liner, I'm going to draw a line right down the middle of her nail. Okay, once I have the line, we're going to go in with the glitter, and we're just going to sprinkle the glitter on here. And remove the excess a little bit and then it's going to go right into the light. And we're going to clean it with the clean it. I like that you do the glitter gel as a base. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because if it's like if she chips it or hits it or whatever, like she yeah. still has that base That's under there. Smart. Yeah. And here, obviously, we're not going to take that off. So I'm going to have to buff it just a little bit. To get obvious. Yeah, it's just the glitter is super fine. It gets stuck to anything. Okay. And I'm not going to top coat over that line there. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to add I'm not tacky to your middle one. Now we're going to stick that in the light. So on this now, I'm going to add the princess dust. So I just have a regular makeup sponge. 
and I'm going to dab just a little bit. For this design, I don't want to saturate the nail with the dust. I just want a light sheen over it. So I'm trying to take some off because I just want it really, really light. Okay, so anytime I use any type of dust or chrome, I like to use two top coats. So I seal with I'm not tacky and then I use a top coat. So I'm going to go in with um, I'm not tacky first. And this is just to reassure that the dust or chrome doesn't chip. I'm going to cure that. We're going to do our top coat. 